kitchen. My name is Alana Yazi and I'm the creator and founder of the TheFancyNavajo.com which is a lifestyle and food blog that follows along my life as a contemporary Dineff woman living here in the city. There I share a variety of food and lifestyle topics. However, what I'm most known for are my blue corn recipes. I'm so excited to be here to share a fun and easy recipe for fancy blue corn scones. Father's Day is coming up and these would be the perfect treat for your father figure. They're so simple and easy to make and they incorporate one of my favorite ingredients which is blue cornmeal. So follow along with me as I show you how to make these delicious blue corn scones. The full recipe can also be found on thefancynavajo.com so if you want to make this at another time, the full recipe can be found there. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get baking and make these wonderful delicious scones. So for this recipe you're going to need one cup all-purpose flour, one and a half cup roasted blue cornmeal, one third cup granulated sugar, one and a half teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of heavy whipping cream that's cold, half a cup of unsalted butter, one large egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna first start off by preheating our oven to 375 degrees. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our baking sheet and we're gonna go ahead and line it with some parchment paper or aluminum foil. I have a half baking sheet here. This recipe makes about six large scones. This recipe doesn't require a lot of equipment. All you're gonna really need is a medium or large bowl and a whisk, or you can use your hands to mix the dry ingredients together. To our bowl, we're gonna go ahead and add in our roasted blue cornmeal. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in as well as our all-purpose flour. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our baking powder as well as salt. If you have juniper ash on hand, you can substitute some of the baking powder with the juniper ash, it's really up to you. Uh, basically, you're going to do one teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of juniper ash. So we have all these uh, ingredients in our bowl, and then we're gonna go ahead and mix it all together with our whisk. Like I said, you can also mix this by hand as well if you don't want extra dishes, but I'm just uh, making sure that all of the dry ingredients are all incorporated together. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix in our granulated white sugar. So we're gonna go ahead and again, whisk that into our blue cornmeal and flour mixture. Mix, mix, mix. Think some happy thoughts to wherever these are going to. And then next we're gonna get our wet ingredients ready to add to these scones. So now that we have our dry ingredients all mixed together, we're just going to set this aside and we're gonna get our wet ingredients ready. So here I have our cold, uh, heavy cream. You're gonna want this to be cold, as well as our one large egg and our pure vanilla extract. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack the egg and put it into the cold, heavy cream. And then I'm going to add in that one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm going to take a whisk and whisk that egg into that heavy cream mixture. And then we are going to set this off to the side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and work on adding in our butter into our dry mixture here. So this is going to be similar to making a pie crust. If you've ever made that before, we're going to slice up the butter into thin pieces and put it into the dry mixture and crumble it with our hands until they're a small pea-sized shape. So that way we get those nice little uh, pie pockets of air in our beautiful scone. What I like to do is get a knife and just thinly slice the butter and put that into our dry mixture. So here I am just slicing up the cold butter. I like to do this because it makes it so much easier to get it crumbled into the dry mixture. You're gonna wanna make sure that your butter is cold and if you have hot hands, you may want to work quickly to make sure that the butter doesn't melt while you are trying to do this. 
If you have a pastry cutter, you could also use that as well instead of your hands, but I just like using my hands so that way I have one less dish to wash. And here I'm just getting in there and I want little uh, pea-sized little pieces of butter in my dry mixture like this. Next, we're gonna add in our wet mixture of our heavy cream, and I'm just going to drizzle this into our bowl here. And I wanna use every bit of this wet mixture. So I have a little spatula here, and I'm scraping out all of that yummy goodness into our dry mixture. Next, I'm gonna take my spatula, and I'm going to fold in that wet ingredient into my dry ingredient, just so that it starts to clump up. And once it starts to clump up, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing it with my hands, and making sure all of those dry ingredients are absorbed. It's almost like making a tortilla dough, but you don't want to uh, knead the dough too much. You just want to make sure everything starts to combine. Next, we're gonna sprinkle some flour on a clean work surface and we're going to dump our dough onto the floured surface. And as you can see, it's still a little bit crumbly here. That's perfectly fine. What we're going to do is we're going to start folding this dough together and start making those nice little layers and scones that make them super nice and flavorful. So I'm here I'm just putting it into a little mold here and I'm going to flatten out into a six inch round disc with about a one inch diameter and then I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to slightly press down and then I'm going to turn the dough around and then I'm going to fold it again in half again and you're going to do that about two, two to three more times and once you fold it over uh, four to five times you're going to round it out into a round disc of about six inches with a one inch diameter. And next I'm going to grab a knife and I'm going to cut my scones into six equal pieces. You can make more uh, scones if you want to, if you want them to be a little bit smaller, but I think uh, the six piece is a great size for a nice and delicious scone. And then you're going to transfer your scones onto your lined baking sheet with parchment paper and you're just going to evenly space them out. I'm going to do three on one side and three on the other side. Then we're going to take some of that extra heavy cream and if you have some granulated cane sugar on hand I'm going to brush each scone with some of that heavy cream. You can use a pastry brush or you can also use your fingers as well and we're just going to coat the top layer of the scones and then we're going to sprinkle on some of that sugar to the top to make them a little bit more fancier. And then we're going to put them in the oven and bake them for about 14 to 16 minutes or until you start to see them to get lightly brown on the surface. Once out of the oven, they should look something like this and they look and smell so delicious. And to make this a one bit more fancier, we're going to make a quick glaze for our blue corn scone here. So I just added about a cup of powdered sugar and to this I'm going to drizzle in some of that extra heavy uh, whipping cream and basically I'm just going to slowly add in the heavy cream until I get a nice uh, drip consistency. I would say I'm using about a cup of powdered sugar with about maybe three to four tablespoons of heavy cream and as you can see here I'm just kind of checking the consistency of the powdered sugar glaze to get a thick but not too runny consistency. And now to the grand finale of icing our fancy blue corn scones. I love the contrast colors between the blue and the white of the icing. And you can do any type of design you want. Here I'm just drizzling them on. Looks so yummy and so delicious. You can see those beautiful scone layers there. I am so excited for you to try this recipe. 
Alrighty, so here are our finished fancy blue corn scones. They look and smell so delicious. I cannot wait to have this with a nice hot cup of coffee and to share these with my husband on Father's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you follow along with me, put a picture down below in the comments. I love seeing all of your fancy Navajo creations. The full recipe can be found on the fancynavajo.com as well as other fun fancy blue corn recipes. If you want to continue to follow along with me in my journey, you can find me on Instagram at the Fancy Navajo and at the Fancy Navajo blog on Facebook. I hope you guys all take care, you be kind to one another, and until next time, take care. Bye!